This here is another viewer's very dirty gaming PC. In fact, it's so dirty, I decided to film the intro out here in my garage because I don't want this filth indoors. So this system is quite old, GTX 550 Ti, an older 650 watt power supply, and what I believe to be either AM3 or AM3 Plus Asus motherboard. We have a north and south bridge here, so you know it's yeah, not newer. Now the goal of this series, again, is to deep clean older and dirtier systems. If your system's not very dirty, then there's really no point in it being featured here, and that's why we've had to ignore so many inquiries in the past Past month or two here in the Orlando, Florida area. The premise is simple. We deep clean viewer systems for free. One of the side effects of filming outdoors is that you have very loud things happening outside. So I apologize for that. Neighbors mowing his lawn, it's just how it is. Uh, this system here clearly sat for a very long time. And the fact that it is so old, I think adds to the dust factor here. It is caked up in so many places. And I think this is gonna make for a very satisfying clean. Uh, what I was saying about entries not being dirty enough, it, it, there's just no point in me making a video and spending that much time. It takes several days usually to clean these kinds of systems. And if it's not very dirty, What's the point, right? Now you guys like seeing the big transformations. I'm going to make it a point in this video to not upgrade anything. Everything will be recycled. We will deep clean it all and put it all back into this case here. What better way to end season two of PCDC? So with that, I think you'll enjoy. You'll want to stick around. Stay with me. Make your next cup of coffee more exciting with Trade. Trade lets you explore new coffees curated specifically to your tastes and preferences. Then they'll deliver them right to your door. These coffees are supplied from only the best local roasters and are sure to impress. Trade's process is simple. Start with a basic quiz where you'll be asked about certain coffee preferences, ensuring an ideal match. Then choose your delivery frequency. It'll arrive at your door in compostable packages packaging, and from there, you can rate and repeat the matches you love most. With Trade, you can skip the delivery store and you'll never have to worry about running out again. You'll support small, quality roasters like Gimme, whose Stargazer blend the wife's fallen in love with. In fact, Trade's so confident you'll enjoy your first match that they'll ship you out a different bag for free if you don't love your first. So get started today by clicking the link below and running through the quiz. You'll get free shipping and your first fresh bag of roasted coffee for free when you sign up today. I think with this build, we're gonna have to start with the leaf blower. It's not my first choice, but it is kind of a quick and dirty solution to get a lot of this loose dust up first before we bring it inside, which is where we're gonna be cleaning a majority of the individual components in here. Uh, the case we will hose down with water because water is a lot um, more abrasive than just air alone. Even using an air compressor probably won't get a lot of this dust and grime out of here. So we're gonna use water for that. And then all the individual components we're gonna bring inside and deep clean those. We're gonna tear them down as far as they will go. So I guess with that out of the way, yeah, let's bring out the leaf blower. Oh, by the way, if you wanna find any of the stuff I use to clean, in this video, with the exception of the leaf blower, because that's kind of unconventional, you can find it in this video description. Okay, now, now let's get the leaf blower. This right here is your Walmart special. Get yourself a Black & Decker. <laughs> it's, it's actually a pretty weak leaf blower, but it gets the job done, at least where I live. 20 volt, uses battery, so you don't need to plug it in or throw gas into the thing. But uh, yeah, I like using this to clean my PCs. All right, so here we go. Wow, that already looks so much cleaner. And now that a lot of the surface dust has been taken care of, it's time to take all these components out. Again, I wanna do that in the garage because I'm sure there's still plenty of loose dust in there that could go floating around in the office. Not that I'm new to that, but I just prefer to mitigate it in this case if possible. So we'll take all this stuff out and then we'll start bringing things in one by one. We'll also hose down the case. It's time for the music and the montage. Here we go.
And day two, one deep cleaning later, we're ready to reassemble. Now, I must confess this case didn't clean up as well as I'd hoped. There are some stains that just are not coming out. I'd have to repaint this entire thing. It's just not worth putting that much effort into such an old case. But I do want to make a point to not upgrade the case because I think it is pretty cool. I noticed that he had the left panel on the right side of the case. So they were kind of backwards. I guess they're interchangeable. So uh, this is an entirely meshed out left side panel. You can see you can mount a 140 mil fan to it if you want. That's probably one of the reasons why there's so much dust in here because there's no filter behind this mesh. But anyway, we're gonna get the case reassembled and then we'll start reassembling the platform, throw it all in here and turn it on. Make sure she posts. Here we go. And now the moment of truth, let's power it on at the rear. I am slightly nervous about this because of something that the owner told me when I picked it up. I'll talk more about that in a second if the problem persists, we'll see. But I, I think I actually found what was wrong with it while I was rebuilding it. And I'll tell you about that in a second. So yeah, all right, we've got a post that was super fast and uh, great. Everything looks really good. I don't know if there's an operating system on this hard disk drive. Yep, looks like there is. Okay, cool. So what the viewer told me was that whenever he tried to turn the system on, you would get like a purple screen. And that might end up showing up here. I'm not sure how long it took for him to notice that. It might have been right away. Uh, but I noticed when I was reassembling the system that the case didn't have any standoffs. 
And so the motherboard was basically being screwed directly to the, the, the motherboard tray, the, the tray that the board sits on in the case. And that's not good because there are a lot of solder points that are uh, very fine tipped and they stick out a good ways from the, from the PCB. And those could short th with the case and uh, that could cause some serious problems. I don't know if the purple screen was related to that. I noticed that when the motherboard was installed without the standoffs, the PCI slots were recessed a bit further than usual. So I couldn't actually get the sound card to fully slot in uh, because the board was just further away. Um, and I think that might've been the problem. I don't know, maybe that was the problem as well with the graphics card. But uh, yeah, I mean, apart from the fact that this hard disk drive is super slow, it does appear that everything is working. I think by now we would have already seen that purple, uh, that purple screen that the owner was talking about. And if it does only show up once Windows initializes, it could be a driver thing. And that's something I expect would be fairly easy to fix. But uh, yeah, everything looks great now. That's good news. And I just realized my hair is like totally out. I can't, I can't, I can't decide if it wants to part this way or this way. And it looks all blocky. Wow, like I didn't know what I was doing when I cut my hair. Yes, I cut my own hair. Good hard to tell that. And uh, it's okay, you can make fun of me. Usually the first few days, it looks a bit awkward. I wanna thank you guys for another epic season of PCDC. I can't believe we're already finished with 10 full episodes here in season two. Um, these go by so fast. I mean, granted, they, they usually take a few days to, <laughs> to film, clean, and ultimately edit and publish, but I just, it's crazy looking back how quickly these go by. And I am so, so fortunate that all of you have been so engaging in the comment section, just clicking these videos as fast as you do. These two playlists have been just a huge jumpstart again for the channel and uh, your feedback, your viewership, all of that is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much. I'm not entirely sure when season three will be here. There will be a larger hiatus between season two and three than there was between one and two. Uh, season two started almost as quickly as season one ended. Uh, but I think when it comes to three, I'm gonna be st attempting to streamline the process a bit more. I'm gonna have a few different uh, different approaches I'm gonna try to take to that, uh, that season, see if we can dice it up a bit because this does get a bit redundant over time. I've noticed that um, the anticipation and enthusiasm for this playlist has been dying down just a bit as the Fixer Flop playlist continues to do very well. Uh, so we've got to come up with a way to revamp this series and make it even more interesting. And I've got a few ideas that I want to uh, at least test out in season three. So there will be a, a bit of a gap. Uh, we are starting a different deep cleaning season though. Actually, it's not, not a it's not a part of this playlist, it's gonna be a separate playlist, but it is a deep cleaning playlist. And uh, it's gonna revolve around consoles. Now I'm not entirely sure how well this one's gonna do, this might just be a one-off, but uh, we'll see. There are plenty of dirty consoles out there and I think that it will be fairly easy to streamline those because not only are they widely abundant, I mean, pretty much everyone grew up with some kind of console, right? And you're probably still sitting on one that you haven't touched in years. Well, that's the perfect candidate for that. I think we're gonna call it GCDC, uh, Gaming Console Deep Cleaning. I would have said CDC, but then that's like, Center for Disease Control, it just doesn't work. So yeah, GCDC it is. But uh, yeah, so that'll be coming up very soon. I'll make announcements for that uh, if I haven't already. But uh, wow, can we just admire for a second how far this build's come? Now look, I know it's not perfect. The case is definitely not perfect. There are scratches and imperfections that are just not coming out no matter how intensely I scrub with soap and water or IPA or what have you uh, without risking damaging the paint using something like uh, Goof Off or Goo Gone, it's a much stronger solution. Uh, I'm just, uh, there's not much more I can do here. Uh, that said, I think the fact that we were still able to recycle literally everything in here and uh, bring it back to working order, very clean. It just, um, yeah, I'm bringing life to a very old system again. I know that the owner of this wants to give it to his wife just to use as like a work from home system. She just needs it for Microsoft Office and a few other things, maybe browsing the web. And uh, this is perfect for that. You don't need an, an, you know, an, a crazy gaming PC, thousands of dollars worth. It just, you know, you could get by honestly, probably with a Chromebook if all you want to do is just type up some documents, maybe use Excel or an equivalent Excel platform uh, or application, and then browse the web, right? I mean, even Chromebooks can do that. Uh, it's when you start doing a lot of things simultaneously, you start running some heavier programs, that's when you're gonna want something a bit more powerful than that. But this here, I think is plenty for an introductory office sort of solution. Uh, someone that wants to run Microsoft Office, again, is probably gonna be perfectly suited for this rig here. GTX 550 Ti, still a discrete graphics card, using a Phenom 2 processor. This is older than I initially thought thought. 
But uh, yep, it all works and it all looks much, much newer. And that's the goal of this one. So if you enjoyed this one, please, please, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate that. If you haven't already clicked that like button, go ahead and do that. If you didn't like it for whatever reason, click the dislike button. That's totally fine. That's why it's there. Leave a comment below letting me know what you didn't like about this one. But if you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate those comments as well. And uh, again, looking forward to season three whenever that comes probably a few months from now i think uh i think i'm gonna work on some things over the holidays try to get gcdc going still continuing the fixer flop playlist i'm not sure when we're gonna be able to end season one we've had so many inquiries but uh, i'm very grateful to to everyone in the area who has loaned me his or her system to to you know allow me to make these videos it is greatly appreciated uh with that yep like subscribe comment i already said that and uh, i'll catch you in the next one my name is greg Thanks for another great season of PCDC and thanks for deep cleaning with me.